I love these so much, but if only I could just change one thing. Thank you for stopping by. This channel is about luxury, fashion, anything that makes our hearts sing. My name is Jenny and I love doing hauls, comparisons, reviews, things like that. I release two videos per week. So if you love content and you want to join me in on some fun, then please consider subscribing. Today's a collab video and is with Erin from The Handbag Housewife and Amy Michelle Luxury. If you guys want to check out their video on things that they love about their bags, but they can only change one thing, I will drop it below. I'm so excited they invited me to do this collab video with them because honestly, I have so much to say about all my bags, but I narrowed down to a few just because, you know, I love to ramble. So I didn't want to make this video too long, but here's like kind of my top things on my list and only these bags are just a little bit different. I'm going to kick it off with this bag first. It is this Fendi bag at you guys know if I can keep one bag in my collection, it would be this bag. That's how much I love this bag, but I don't use it every single day for this reason. And it's not the baguette. It's the fabric version that I had picked up. So if you guys look at this closely, do you see how it is like raw fabric? Meaning there's like no coats. You can like see the threading. It is very detailed, very beautiful, but very delicate. And this is my second one because the first one had some issues with the backing here. This part was getting like unraveled. Um, and I think it's just the nature of how it was made versus like this one. This is the mama bag baguette. This is a vintage version. If you look at it up close, you may not be able to tell on camera. So if you feel it, although it is fabric, it is, uh, I think there's like a light coating on it or something that kind of keeps the threading in place. So this one is, I don't even know, pretty like I decades old and it's still, I think I just want to say like at least like 20 years old. It still looks absolutely amazing. One still looks good now because it's newer, but I don't know what it's gonna look like after use, after 20 years because of the threading. I know a lot of other people that have this bag do see threads like pop up and they need to use scissors to cut it, <sighs> which I guess is like just the nature. You go in knowing that and you're just gonna have to be okay with it. The leather version obviously doesn't have that issue, but I love the Zuka print, so I don't regret it a tiny bit. I just wish that it was protected, coated in a way where you don't feel the anxiety when using it because, you know, if you're spending $3,000 plus on a bag, you don't really want to like cut the threads. You know what I mean? I don't know. I guess that goes back to why I love vintage. So as much as I love new bags, like vintage bags just hold up so much better. And I think that's why if you guys follow me at all, you know that I started a small business with my friend called Bag Crush. And that's why I created that small business because vintage bags are just that much better. And I wanted to have a space where I could find those vintage pieces for you guys because there is like a quality difference. So I don't know. That's just like how I feel about the bag. Moving on to bag number two. It's my most recent purchase and it is my Bottega Veneta Mini Jody in the new Saj color. I love it so much. I've been using her, although it doesn't match sometimes my outfits. Like style wise, I don't care. Like that's how much I love it. But the zipper, okay. So I obviously watch reviews before I purchase things. So I know about the pros and cons that other people have stated. And one of them is the zipper. They are joking. The zipper is very stiff and very hard to open in and out. I think it's because number one, the, this bag is fairly new. So with time, it'll get looser. But I think a lot of it is the way that it's shaped. You see how it's like shaped like this? It dips because it dips like this. The zipper is very hard to like open all the way, which makes the opening very small. Like the most, I mean, unless I like really, really pull, like it kind of stops here. And then you just have like this much space to work with, which really isn't a lot. I think if I could change one thing, if only this opening part can just extend out maybe just an inch or two more, it will at least give me a little bit more space to put in my wallet, keys, and things like that. So, I mean, I still love the bag, no regrets whatsoever, um, but I think honestly, that will make a world of difference if you're using this bag, because I don't buy bags to use for occasions, I buy bags to use on a daily basis. Um, and this is like 
you know, my dinner bag, my daytime bag. So I just, getting in and out can be so much of a hassle, somewhat of a hassle. So if it only could open up a little bit more, it would just be perfect. Next bag is a newer bag that I purchased in 2023. It's my pull in numero 10 bag in this olive color now i love this bag and i think i mentioned it when i did my review on this bag but if i can change one thing a pocket give us a back pocket a front pocket any pocket i don't care just give me a pocket because if i had a pocket i could literally drop my phone in drop my keys in or anything that receipts you know things like that but I mean, this one is not nearly as bad as the mini Jody. It does open, but sometimes it's just a hassle, like, you know, going in and out. And with my phone, because I'm on it so much, which I know is not like the best thing, I wish I could just put it right here. It would just be so much better. Plin, if you're listening, for your next refresh or next bag, can you make it with a front pocket? That would be so good for all of us. Um, it's just so convenient. But other than that, like, I, I think this bag is really good for the price. I think it is an overall easy to use bag, durable. So no other complaints. I just wish it had one. Next one is my Chanel 19. I don't have it here at the moment, it's upstairs. But my Chanel 19, out of all the Chanel bags, I do think the 19 is like more, leans more on the casual side, but it can also be dressed up. It's a very easy to use bag. I love everything about it, but <laughs> And I know a lot of people will disagree with me, but if I could change one thing, it's that chain. That chain just isn't doing it for me now that I've had it for a while. I think it's because I'm not a fan of the tricolor. You know how it's, um, I'll drop a photo up here. And I don't love the padding that they have there. Like the, I get the padding because it makes it comfortable, but I think they could do a better job with the overall design. Um, I just, I almost wish it was like a same kind of chain as the sh classic Chanel, as the classic Chanel classic flaps, but a little bit thicker because of the design of this bag. It was just chunkier version of the classic. And I wish the straps were a tiny bit shorter. And I think it depends, right? Because everyone has different preferences where it sits and also height differences and things like that. But for me personally, it's a little too long for my liking and I'm about five, 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 six, and it still sits kind of low. I just wish it was a little bit higher up and also just the chain was different. I mean, I still think the bag is gorgeous, but again, like if I could change one thing, that would be the one. Thing. Next on the list is the bum bag. Ah, oh, that bum bag. So I know a lot would assume the thing I would change the most about the Louis Vuitton bum bag, which if you guys didn't know, this one is discontinued, but I've heard from the Louis Vuitton grapevine that they are doing a new bum bag. And the bum bag, I don't even know if I have a photo of it, but sorry, a little off track right now, but the bum bag, instead of having the vachetta, it is a guitar strap. It's like the same strap as they use for I mean, a lot of their bags, like the um, Cousine bag, the multi pochette bag, you know, like their thick, like statement straps. I heard it's like a beige version that's going to be on that bum bag. And the front is going to have like a like a ta hang tag kind of situation. I don't know how I feel about it until I see it, but I am curious to see that in person. But going back to the bum bag version that I currently have, so I love everything about it. I don't even mind the fact that you have to flip up the lid to kind of zip everything. I actually doesn't bother me at all. What I do wish is the Vachetta, if they could just honey patina that so you don't have to worry about it as much. I did spray mine with my, my favorite Harvey Deluxe a spray to protect it. So far, so good. But still, like if it came in that honey color and that already was pre-patinaed, it would take a lot of anxiety, I think, off a lot of people when it comes to using it because I know Machetta is like the biggest fear when it comes to certain Louis Vuitton bags. So I think with that, it just will make it better. However, I love it. I mean, I really love that bag. I'm so glad I picked it up right before the bag got discontinued. Um, I am curious to see the new one. I don't know I will pick it up because I don't need it because I have this one, but 
I'll let you guys know what I think and you guys let me know what you think. Last one is my Dior saddle. Now, <sighs> I love the kidney liver shape to it. I know not it's not everyone's cup of tea. I personally really think it's gorgeous. It, to me, it's like a fashion statement. It's an art piece and that is why I picked it up. That shape, I know it doesn't fit that much, but I mean, you buy it because of the shape, if that makes any sense. So it's not that, it's the opening. Um, I don't have the bag here with me, but when you open the flap of the bag, that like little flap gets stuck in between the gold hardware, like the C and the D. It like gets stuck between the C because the C, the C looks like this. So the strap, when you open it, it like hits this part right here and it always gets stuck. So it limits how much space I have or how much capacity because I can't get in there unless I pull up the strap, then pull up the the flap and then get in. So it's like kind of a process. And also you don't want to be too harsh on it because the hardware scratches against the leather. That is like my biggest pain point on the saddle right now. And I don't know, I think if they were to fix the, the CDs on the side, like they would have to redesign it in a way where it still has that like elegance to it. That's that, that, that look and feel that we all love when you wear it on the shoulder and the CD shows. But at the same time, in a way where it's not a hook and it doesn't hook onto the flap when you're opening it would be great. I don't know what the solution is, but I feel like Dior, because they do revamp a lot of their things often, I feel like that is something they should look into. It would really make life easier for us for those of us that actually use the saddlebag. Um, again, that is not my everyday bag. I bought it with the intention that I want to use it as much as I could for everyday purposes. But because of that flap, it just, I can't use it every single day. I just can't. Um, and those are, I think, the main things on the bags that I personally love so much. No regrets buying any of these. I just wish these little things would be different. It would just make it that much better. And that is my roundup. Thank you again to Erin and Amy for including me in this collab. Again, I love stuff like this. I think I made a video very similar to this a year ago, but it was on bags I would buy if only things, these things were different. So this is even better because it's on things that I have and now I have a better um, perception of them. Again, Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Thank you so much for watching this video and all my other videos. I love you guys so much. I appreciate you. And as always, I will see you in my next one. Bye.